Yo, yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Here we have my 2024 Lowrider ST. And today we're gonna be answering the question, the question that I get so much almost in every video. Is this bike for taller riders? Is it for shorter riders? The main point today, we're gonna be talking about if the Lowrider ST is for taller riders. Now there's a lot to unpack and to talk about. But before that, let's take a walk around the bike, see what we got going on so far. She's a little filthy. Yes, you can see a little black splatters all over the place. Oh, uh, looking clean with that uh, Baja design set up in the front. LP6, S1, Santoro, crash bar, Black Widow Creation side covers, carbon fiber side covers, and my brand new custom made Lapara tail whip seat. Love this bike, man. Ooh, we get the MK87 branded MK, guys. We got maybe about 20 gloves left of the mk87 collab with torque they're going hot there's about 20 left get yourself a pair that's one way to support the channel they're really nice they're custom they're limited quantity there's going to be no more so get them while they're hot all right so let's get into the discussion is the low rider st for taller riders the answer is yes but it's complicated just like a relationship it's complicated and i'll explain why all right now i'm around five seven i'm able to flat foot this bike so if you're around my height you are super good few things you need to know about the bike the bike comes with mid controls as you can see but there's one important factor you can swap out those mid controls for four controls and most of the time the people who do that are taller riders i'll explain more down the line let's talk about ergonomics the riding triangle so you can see the stock riser setup that we have on the bike right now talking about that we got a brand new riser setup coming in next week we're going to be installing it doing an install video and you guys are going to see the brand new awesome riser setup that we got through this bike anyways so as you can see here i have a nice slight bend to my elbow i'm not stretched out like this and i'm not like this either so nice light bend that's what you want to see nice comfortable risers right in front of me so you are going to have an upright seating position on the bike you're not leaning forward you're not all the way back here you're just straight up it feels very comfortable now if you look down my knees and my legs go straight out they're not up here which is what taller riders kind of tend to complain about on soft tails or sports or is that obviously since they have longer legs their legs are going to be up here therefore they're going to feel more cramped as you can see here my legs kind of go straight out forward i feel very comfortable now there, there's something very important that you need to know and it's something that people forget that your seating position can easily change by swapping out a seat now with this lepara tail whip i feel like i'm being pushed forward just a tad bit no, nothing new here i can say oh my god i'm all the way up here now no but it does push you out forward a little more the seat is also a bit wider so your legs kind of get spread out a bit more as well but there's also different options out there so you can get a seat that can push you even more forward you can get a seat that could kind of push you all the way back you could get a seat that sits you down lower sits you up higher so your ergonomics is going to change by the type of seat that you swap out to the bar and riser setup that you're going to have and most importantly are you going to have forward controls or mid controls now for a person around my height this is perfect right here the seating, the ergonomics, the riding triangle, it feels perfect for a person around my height. So if you're upwards of six feet and up, six one and up, six two and up, for sure, go with the four controls. If you're under six feet, guys, I think you should be good. Most likely you're, you're, you're gonna be good. But for those guys out there who are six feet and above, I would recommend A, four controls, because with mid controls, your legs are gonna be up here. With four controls, they're gonna be more spread out. You're gonna be more comfortable. B, get a seat 
that's going to allow you to sit further back, right? So you're going to be able to stretch out a bit more. And C, if you're going to swap out for a riser setup, I mean, that's preference. Even taller guys like more of a, of a pullback T-bar setup, if we're talking about T-bars. Um, that maybe not getting a pullback might help you out because you're going to have longer arms so you, you may not need a pullback the pullback looks nice i i like a pullback because it looks nice a but b it's a bit more comfortable for me i don't have really super long arms so it kind of brings uh the the controls and the risers closer to me making it uh a lot more comfortable now i did let rich ride this bike and rich is around six feet um, that's prior to him buying his Lowrider ST and the reason why he never bought an, a Lowrider ST before was because he thought he was too big for the bike he took my bike out for a little ride and he was like wait a minute like this actually feels comfortable like I like this one thing led to another the guy goes to a dealership the week after that trades in his Indian Challenger for a Lowrider ST because he felt super comfortable on it so long story short before you think the bike might be too small for you or before you think you might be too cramped in it i always tell people with every thing every review every little detail on a bike throw a leg over the bike if you're able to take it out for a test ride do that and get the real feel for it before you make the assumption um or before you make the decision to be like no not for me might be too small i might be too cramped throw a leg over it and then when you do that if you really like the bike a lot and, and and you still think that you might be cramped up think about all the options that i just broke down for you the main ones i'll go over them one more time you can switch out your mid controls for four controls you could opt out for a seat that's gonna push you back and then your riser setup obviously very important that's gonna change your riding dynamic right away man right 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 away so to answer the question is the low rider st for taller riders of course it is why not why wouldn't it be yeah i mean you you, you know what i hate to hear uh a lot of guys sometimes the real bikers brother oh soft tails are for for little guys soft tails are for girls it's kind of something's like Sportsters before it was like sportsters are for girls Sportsters are beginner bikes Sportsters are this it's like dude if, if if you look at the longevity and, and the history of Harley Davidson and see the size of how the older bikes used to be because it's the same guys most of the time that talk shit about these bikes that are crazy about smaller frame bikes from back in the day which were really small compared to what we have now so it just it doesn't it, it, it doesn't calculate it doesn't add up it doesn't make sense so shut the fuck up anyways that's my little spiel on this the low rider st is a super popular bike if if it's not the road glide that's rolling out of a dealership it's it's a low rider st or a low rider s beautiful bike it's great for all around riding it's comfortable and most of all it's a harley so you know it's going to be super customizable talking about that guys i'm heading over to the torque custom cycle shop right now because uh we gotta lay some stuff down with mike um a lot of stuff that i need to get on the bike for next week because i'm gonna be heading up to laconia bike week in two weeks and i need to have my bike dialed in before that so my bar and riser setup comes in tomorrow the stage two is all at the shop right now as well all the parts that we order for the stage two is there the exhaust is here so it's more so of trying to figure out right now when are we going to put all these parts on because i need to be because i need my bike to be dialed in before laconia and then after laconia in july we have homecoming so if if you are thinking about going to homecoming guys this year is going to be awesome i'm riding out there all the way from new jersey 900 mile trip i cannot wait gonna be super fun i'm also gonna be riding up to laconia that's a, i don't know how many miles but i know it's a six hour ride um but milwaukee for homecoming go out there we're also having this cool little thing where it's like a 
YouTube meet and greet thing. Me and a bunch of other content creators that you may watch um, are going to be all together on one of those days. And you guys come out, hang out with us. Um, there's also going to be concerts and cool events and vendors and the bike and the riding all the way around Milwaukee. And then there's the Harley Davidson Museum and so on and so on and so on and so on and so on. So check that out. Um, I'll be linking another link if you guys are interested in going to Milwaukee. Tickets are available. Hit the link. Get your tickets. Come right out. Come be come be a part of history, man. Come be a part of history. Anyways, that's going to be it. I'm going to try to dip out of this damn traffic right here. And um, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one, all right? Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe. And enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.